In this problem, we're looking at the springs of a car. It might help somewhat to like try and think of the car itself as one big spring, and when the driver steps into it and applies a mass of 66 kilograms, it compresses by 5 millimeters. So let's first find the spring constant of this car. And we can do that using Hooke's Law, which states that an applied force is equal to the spring constant times the, the distance that it extends through. So solving for k, we, we can solve for k by dividing both sides of the equation by x. So the spring constant of the car is equal to the applied force divided by the distance that it expands over. And in this case, I'm going to use for the force, I'm going to use the weight of the driver, mg because when the driver's weight is applied, it extends, it, or it compresses the distance five millimeters, or five times 10 to the power of negative three meters. So I'm going to use 66 kilograms for M, the mass of the driver, and 9.8 meters per second squared for G. And doing this, we find a spring constant of 1.294, times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per meter. And the reason why we did this is because knowing what the spring constant is will help us out. And we, and we were able to do it using this equation because the driver's weight can be thought of as the applied force and the 5 millimeters can be thought of as the compression distance, which tells us k. But now that we know this, we can use the formula for the frequency of a spring's oscillation, which is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of k, the spring constant, which we now have, divided by m, which in this case is going to be the full mass of both the car and the driver. So 1,700 kilograms plus 66 kilograms is what we're going to use for this m. So I probably should use a different variable, actually. I'm going to use a capital M. So that's all we need. So we, we have k from what we just did a minute ago, and m is just going to be uh, 1766 kilograms, since it's the car and the driver together, since in the case of the car going over a bump and oscillating because of that, it's this full mass that is going to be the effective mass at the end of the spring. So we put these numbers into our calculator, and we find a frequency of about 1.362 hertz. If you have a teacher who wants you to be like rounding to significant figures, then you could round this as like 1.4 hertz if you wanted to, to round down a bit. But that's the, the frequency that the car is going to bounce at. And that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me make more videos like this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best I can. If you have a request for a future video or you just want to hang out, I have a Discord server and my Twitch linked in the description down below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely night. Bye-bye.